work continued, as it does in Squin. The locals' views of us had started to shift. We weren't just hangabouts. We were producing. We were creating goods that they could sell, ship out to other cities. And at times, we could be an extra blade when they needed one. Which wasn't all that often. We were getting stronger, working steel and leather, but we'd be hard pressed to match one of them. One of the hundred guardians. They were something to live up to. To idolize. It took a while, but finally, first two sets of armor are created. We're going to Oren and Ziff. They've been working hard, bringing in copper, bringing in cats given us a chance to get started, to get food, this roof over our head. We were a family, an odd one at that, but still a family. Hobbs was always muttering to himself, working on things, designs, ideas, and he had a good mind for it. Seemed that even though it was jumbled at times, that mind could spit out some pretty good things. He had us running about, getting books, Still, not so sure what he does with all the things. Uses them once and then throws them away. We'll ask him about it one day. But now, life continues in a cycle of sorts. However, supplies have been getting low. And Park's been heading back out there. Beyond the walls of Squin. Dad Mag. Picking up steel. Hauling it all the way back. It's that toughness again. He's got it. But each time he goes out, or it'll be the last. But then, I know that son of a bitch is tougher than most. At least, I pray to the sand and stars that's true. Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Kenshi. We are here in Admag, of all places, and I hope you enjoyed the introduction, advancing our time somewhat. Not too far, but far enough that our production is well in order. Now, what are we doing in Admag? Well, Park has been doing some runs here, picking up supplies. We are waiting for the main market here to resupply, and so we decided to pop into here and have ourselves a little bit of a drink. Now, Park has been talking to some of the patrons around here, but there is one with a, a name that I think is worthy of mentioning. Now, I've never run with Ruka before, but many of you in the comments have been going wild for Ruka, and so with that, Park's going to have himself a little bit of a conversation. So, Park, why don't we have a seat, see if this will work, and see if you can talk across the table there. Looks like we can. Looking at my horns, outsider. Hmm. No. Good. Don't. Because I can still prove my worth in battle without them. I have a question for you, outsider. What do you do if you're outnumbered? on the battlefield. You keep fighting till the end. Truth. You live a coward or you die a hero. We fight the enemy to the death and we die with honor on the battlefield. But I did not die. I awoke surrounded by death but still alive. They labeled me a deserter and cut my horns on my return. I am no longer a warrior, but a servant. But you fought briefly. You did not deserve that. Perhaps. Either way, I will not remain here as an unclad warrior. But you... You seem different to the other outsiders I have met. Outsider. Let us band together. I'm intrigued to fight alongside you. It would be an honor. And just like that, welcome to the team, Ruka. I think she is going to be a great addition. And so we're going to keep her the way she is right now. But now we can actually see the stats. This is something that we can't always see. We can see where the Shrek... Where the Shrek... (laughs) 
It was bound to happen eventually, where the Sheik truly shine. And that is in combat. Their strength, their attack, they are tougher all round. So, welcome, Ruka. Welcome. And well, while we're here, we might as well have a look around and see if we can get the supplies that we need while we are here. Now, Ruka does have some, you know, pretty decent stats right off the bat. Uh, does seem to be more skilled with katanas and hackers. Okay, good. So for now, we're going to ask Ruka to bodyguard Park. Just stay nice and close to the man, if you can. And Park, my friend, we need you to go across to the marketplace to see if they've finally restocked. Now, the main reason we are here is to try and pick up iron plates. Uh, we go through them pretty quickly. Um, Park is able to produce some pretty high-quality blades at this point now. Sand doesn't have any issue at all with his production. Um, it is very easy to get lots of leather and lots of fabric from the stores. And currently, Hobbs, I believe, is training up his uh, melee attack, which... Getting the final point is always a little bit more difficult. Now, Ruka, I think, are you on walk? You are not on walk, which is kind of strange that you're just uh, taking your time there. But that's fine. We won't complain. Uh, let's see. We've actually gone to the armor shop, the completely wrong shop. You think Park would have realized he's been here enough. But, um, well, I guess he's a little confused. Maybe a little fr flustered upon meeting Ruka. Now, Park did have something of a relationship back in uh, Rebirth with Ribs. However, you know, uh, I'm not saying there's anything there yet, but you, but you never know. Let's do business anyway, and let's see what we got. Okay, fantastic. We have some more iron plates that we can grab, so we're going to go ahead and top his inventory out with that. You can see that our cats are a little bit low, but this is all investment. Uh, this should be the last leather and fabric we have to buy for a good long while. We could buy some books while we're here as well, but I'm happy with what we've got so far. So, with Park and Ruka, we are going to run on back to Squin. Um, actually, easiest way to do this is just actually clicking on sand, and we're going to make sure that it is Park and Ruka, just so that they don't get, um, separated, and we're going to get them to run right back to that spot there. And good old sand, we can see, is still working away here, and Oren is heading out there. Both Oren and Zif have been outfitted in our trader's leathers, um, more kind of the shoddy versions of them. Right now, we are, actually, I guess, beyond or beneath shoddy. What is even beneath shoddy? Um, well, we can always see, can't we? Um, prototype. Yeah, so prototype is the very first thing that you'll start essentially producing. Then you get better and better over time. And we can see this was crafted by sand. Crafted by the, by the Smith Sand of the Legion of the Free. Uh, it's a placeholder name for now. <laughs> we don't know what they will become, what they will be called in time, but we'll, we'll find that out. We'll figure out what we're going to do there. Hobbs has been smashing away at this thing. This is a Mark II training dummy, meaning that we can level up to 10. This final level is always incredibly slow, I find, though. You can see that the, uh, yeah, the training, it does uh, not happen easily. It's almost worth us taking him off that for now, just so he can do some research. Eventually, we will be able to get Mark III, but that is a little bit further away. For us to be able to do that, we need to have level three researched and um well yeah it can take a fair bit we need to have 10 books to be able to research tech level three not something that we need immediately need to jump into but it could help us out because with crafting for example we'd be able to or rather smithing we might be able to get some better weapon grades uh so right now for us to get basic weapon grades four we just need it looks like um five books which is entirely possible I'll be a little bit expensive. And saying that though, it has been a little while since we've cleaned this thing out, and yeah, we've uh, we've got some money. And so Hobbs, we're actually gonna take you away, just for a little bit here, bud. Because he has his little stackable backpack, he should be able to take a whole heap of these. And sure enough, he can take the whole lot with him. Let's go across to that marketplace, and um, we're gonna get, we're gonna get a fair amount. By this time of the day, they should actually be restocked with all their different supplies as well. One would hope. One would hope. So, Hobbs, continue on. He's trying to run back. You see that? He's very quick on it. But um, we'll get him heading around here. Sell all of these off. Let's trade. We'll pause it just so he doesn't run away. And we'll start selling. 
and you can see that we're actually getting a really decent chunk just from mining alone. And you can also see all the other parts that we've been selling off to them over this time. Unfortunately, they haven't restocked their other bits and bobs yet, but they do have books. They have nine books. Um, I think we just needed four. At 300 each, it is going to be a little expensive. One, two, three, four. We will hope that is going to be enough for the time being. So Hobbs, head back on in there. And we'll go and chuck those books <clears throat> right into place. So right now he is researching clothing manufacturing. Something that's not 100% necessary, but I think it's worth us getting at the very least. Ah, it's five books. Of course it is. Of course it is. Well, we're going to head back a little bit later in the day. It is already past four, which is, I guess... A little later than I was thinking. Actually, no, it's not. Yes, it is. I don't know why I'm getting so confused there. <clears throat> we can see that the power does fluctuate a fair bit. A lot of the power here is generated by these big wind turbines. So whenever the wind does drop, um, it can get quite low here. They don't have a huge amount of battery storage. So what that can mean is that uh, our workbenches just won't be as efficient. They do require a, f you know, not a massive amount, but they do require some electricity, so it is worth considering. Um, luckily, being in the city, though, we can kind of just tap their power for free because we are providing them with goods. Um, we're providing them with a whole heap of armor. Um, you know, it's not the greatest armor in the world, but, you know, it could be worse. And what I'm kind of imagining is happening is that these goods aren't actually being sold to the citizens of Squin, but rather they're sending trade caravans out with these goods, you know, in them. Yeah, so everyone's happy. Everyone's happy with that. Um, surely it is late enough in the day now. It is five o'clock. Hobbs, head back on over there. See what we got going on. And we will double check on our friends running across the map. And yeah, they're going to take a while. Parker's going to be a lot slower because um, he's carrying a whole heap of plates with him. We could try and split it up a little bit with Ruka, but um, I think keeping one person completely hands-free is going to be better for that journey. Let's do business. Okay, any luck yet? No, surprisingly, no. But we'll just go ahead and buy that last book for now, and we'll run on back, Hobbs. Back you go, back you go, back you go. There we are. Okay, we're going to go ahead, back into research, dropping that final book into there. And let's see, basic weapon grades, four. Let's make it happen. Uh, we haven't researched any other weapon types right now. We are just still making these basic iron clubs, purely because the material cost is low. Um, looking at this, the staff cost is the same. However, you are going to be able to fit more iron clubs into your inventory than staff. So I think that kind of works out for us. Looking at the costing kind of difference here, though, um, the staff is actually lighter and... I guess what's kind of good about that is that it is worth a little bit more, surprisingly. So, you know what? Maybe we will swap over onto the staffs because these are weapons that we can use. We can see the attack bonus goes up to plus eight. So these could be good weapons for us to just start off with. So we're going to go ahead, put the staff on there and just see how that works out for us. Material cost is two. So, yeah. I, I'm also assuming that that does mean two iron plates per staff. Um, yeah. Yeah, eventually we are going to see sand producing higher quality goods right all the way up to specialist grade. And it's going to take him a little while to kind of get to that level. He is at 31 at this stage for armorsmithing, which is pretty good. And just like that clothing manufacturing, it's completed. It is something that we can look into. We do have an extra person here now, although Ruka is going to be more martially focused. We can see at the moment, though, we can't really improve it any higher than it is. So getting everyone to kind of get stuck in here will help us out. Looking at that, we are getting a little lower. A little lower than I would like. <laughs> They've gone all the way after Ziff, just to ask him a few questions. Uh, yep, sure, check them. We don't have any problem with that at all. <laughs> I guess they don't fully trust Ziff. But that's all right. And Dogmeat's getting a little bit of exercise as well, running around with Ziff. We do need to go back and check on Dogmeat's hunger every now and then. Um, she is still a pup, but, um, you know, it, it's stuff slowly going up there. They do seem to be bonded quite well. I think it's a little bit better than going on the run with Park, just because Park's runs are so long. 
And the reason I've been sending Park instead of Sand, oh dear, here we go. This was bound to happen eventually. Let's see how bad this is going to be. Um, we're actually really close, surprisingly enough. Um, yep, it's Hungry Bandits, and they're saying, fine, have it your way. I'm pretty sure that's can't remember what slogan that's from uh but right we're going to go ahead and split things up a little bit here um so park i need you to go ahead and trade very quickly with ruka we're going to go give her these here so that you can take your backpack and put it here now that is going to make him more weighed down but it is going to make him able to defend himself just that little bit better so we're going to continue these two running actually park isn't all that slow and if we're fast here we might be able to get to the wall before real trouble begins. We're going to go ahead and send Sand out. I wouldn't mind him using his ranged skills. We're going to go ahead and turn him off jobs. Um, the others don't have any other weapons really. Well, we do have Orin and Ziff. We might be able to get them to come and join us as well. We're going to take them off black, off block, off passive, and get them to run out here to potentially help us. Hobbs, we can do the same thing with you. We're going to go ahead and swap your weapons around here. You are on range, we'll take you off jobs and get you to go sit out here. Potentially give us a chance to get some combat experience. Now Park did get a little bit of a whack there, but I'm pretty sure that we're going to be able to make it out here okay. Sand is running out now, it looks like he's going to try and assist. Um, do you have your staff, Sand? He does. Now we could just get him going in with the staff. You know what, let's do that. So we're going to go ahead and say attack all on that on that point there and we're going to get Ruka and Park both engaged in this as well because I'm relatively confident that we're going to be able to win this fight now uh, so we are going to say just attack all Ruka attack all Oren get involved Ziff get involved and we'll even get Dogmeat involved as well attack target sure okay all right Ruka's taken a few hits there right off the bat but is she going to be able to get a good swing off? That's a good swing. Right, Park taking a few hits. That's one down already. Looks like Hobbs is engaging. And <laughs> that bolt just went so far awry. Okay, and he's gone into martial arts, which, you know, it isn't exactly his strongest suit. That is going to drop down his attack maybe a little bit too much. So maybe martial arts is going to be better for him for now. Let's have a focus on the main combat itself. It is a little difficult sometimes to see exactly what's going on. Ruka is holding her own though. That's nice. Sand doing the same. He's coming over to help. Ziff has gotten engaged. Fantastic. Ruka taking a little bit of damage there. But overall, it looks like we're kicking ass, taking names. This is exactly what we want. Here comes Dogbait. Get in there, Dogmate. Good job, team. So this is the first time that everyone's had the chance to kind of meet Ruka as well. So we'll just get everyone... Just to kind of come around, we're just going to chill here for a second. Um, Oren can probably go back to work at this stage, but we'll just get everyone else chilling around here for now. Ruka, just take a second. Um, we want to make sure that we are getting everyone healed up. Where are Park and Ruka going? They're going to get food, I think, and you are just staying close. That's fine. So we're going to let people start kind of healing up at this point. So we're going to go put jobs back on. Jobs on here. Jobs on there. All right, your job is already turned on. That's fine. Oren, same for you. So Oren might still run all the way out here. No operating machinery. Oren's doing their own thing. Um, now, Ruka, I do want you to get healed up. At the same time, though, we could get Sand to run back and pick up some things. We can, we can do both, can't we? We can do both. Okay, Ruka, go join the others. Uh, right, Sand, let's see, there's an Iron Club just chilling there. How about you pick that up? And we'll go check on the other Hungry Bandits that are out here and just take what we can from them. Uh, it's probably just going to be their weapons, really, because nothing else is going to give us any kind of value at all. Even the weapons are really not worth that much at all. We're looking at about 50 cats each, so... Back over here, and I believe there is one there. Oh, okay, Horse Chopper. Okay, eventually I think we will get into the production of heavier weapons. Seen as the Sheik like them so much as well, but um, yeah. Okay, Sand, seen as you're out and about, we're going to send you to the marketplace and park. Let's see, you do need to get a little bit of a, a heal on, my friend. So let's go over to, oh, it'll be in your backpack. That's fine. Go ahead and put that thing back on. 
So he does have access to that now. He is going to be able to medicate himself. Ruka, I don't know where you are currently. Here you are. All right. Um, so we will find a job for Ruka. Um, just checking on the park. So sometimes it seems like we aren't getting back here, and that's fine. There is a lot going on here. I'm I'm fine with us using a little bit of, um, you know, having it being a little bit of a tighter space here. It is more difficult to get around, but in the grand scheme of things, I think it's all right. Park, go ahead, get involved, start making your saber. Sand, I'm sorry, buddy, I did send you over there, and then we lost track here, didn't we? Okay, let's see how you're doing, bud. Have a chat, see if we have some new stuff, and that we do. Fantastic, only two iron blades, so we are kind of buying them completely out. And we'll just go ahead and sell these, because it's free real estate. Let's do it. And the Spite Club we are going to sell off too. Yeah, good, good. Okay, what else do we want to buy? Well, we might as well buy some more leather and some more fabric while we're here. Our money is looking pretty good at this stage. I'm happy with that. Yeah, across the board, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. So... He's going to go ahead and start running those things back. It looks like he is just going to go straight into operating machinery. And that's okay as well. Uh, but I will just have to quickly manually transfer those goods. And really, it's not that much of a hassle. Where it can become a hassle is, you know, when you've got a lot going on around the town. But generally, you have a lot more space and you won't run into these issues as much. It really doesn't take us that long to do at all. Just dropping that on in there. And yeah, there we go. So we were going to have a look at creating a clothing bench. So jumping into crafting, I think we're going to be looking at. We can make a fabric loom now so we can turn cotton into fabric. It's something that we could maybe have Ruka doing. Or we could get Ruka involved in the clothing side of things. Um, so it's going to require us to use some iron plates to be able to construct this thing and it is going to be down more than likely the other end of the place because um, really we're starting to get a little bit cramped up that side so I don't think we can fit it in this way which would be fantastic not quite that's okay so even if we get this thing on a little bit of an angle we just want to maximize as much space as we possibly can there we go we've got two spots in there which is good Okay, nearly there. We did have it a second ago. Oh dear. There, that's the spot right there. So we need to have three to be able to do it. Um, he's saying he doesn't have any building materials, but uh, they are doing it all the same. Okay, fantastic. We have two. We just need one more plate. And Hobbs actually has those plates. Um, yeah, he was holding on to them, I suppose. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Good work. Um, Park, you have dropped off all of your bits and pieces. Oh, Ruka, that's right. You had all that fabric. Okay, let's get you to... Maybe we can just transfer that from here. Yep, we sure can. Transfer away. So that's, yeah, that's really going to have them happy for a while. That fabric we should be able to use on this bench as well. We've got 40 of it. That's quite a lot. Oren coming and dropping off some materials for us. That's good. But yes, food is becoming a little bit of a concern. We're probably just going to have to start buying some more meat from the bar. That's okay as well. Ruka, how about we get you to just head over there really quick for us. Clothing bench is complete. We will have a look at and, and see what we are going to be able to produce with that. I think it is just basic clothing, but you know, it's still something. Let's go ahead and take those. And I will be interested to see if you are able to just drop those off automatically for us, Ruka. I think she is, you know, very dedicated to her job at this stage. That will be changing. The bodyguarding will only last for so long. Dog meat, we're going to have to make sure that we give you a bit of a heal soon. All right, let's slow things down and have a look at the clothing bench and see what we're able to make. Martial artist bindings, a rag shirt, and a rag loincloth. So really not that much yet, but we will be able to. I am sure of it, I am certain. So jumping back and having a look at our tech, if we have a look at crafting, it's not in crafting, it is somewhere else. So simple clothing types, we just need one book and we can make all of these different types of clothing. It'll be good to have our people clothed in some other, you know, goods. I think we will generally have a uniform, um, but you know, I think it will vary a little bit. Uh, that's dog meat, sorry buddy. 
Sorry, there you go. You're just on a little bit of a jog. Uh, we will send Rooker out really quickly. Hopefully before the place closes. And no, it looks like we've just lucked out. Um, however, are you still open? Nope, you're not. Damn, we're going to be out of books. That is unfortunate. Well, it is going to be another evening working away. And again, we just we seem to go through these plates so damn quickly. Did we manage to... Yep, we got a staff in. And it's not a bad staff at that. We're looking at plus eight to your attack bonus. So, with that being the case... Oh, he is already using a staff as well. Nice, I like it. What is our plus here? Only plus seven. Okay, so we might be able to go ahead and just mix things around here then. Get a new staff on park. Yeah. Model old refitted blade. Created by Park. Good job, Park. Good job. So I don't know. Let's see. I don't know if it would come into armor smithing. Working on clothing. I'm not I'm honestly I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. But I am gonna fast forward through the night. I will see you all when the morning comes around once again. Okay, the morning is nearly upon us, and I have had Ziff actually working at improving his skills, and wow, it looks like we've got some trouble happening out here as well. Oren seems to be in a little bit of a pinch. There is a hungry bandit, two hungry bandits it would seem, coming towards Oren. Now Oren doesn't have the greatest skill in the world. It does have a nice big horse chopper, but I think it's probably going to be safer just to move back for now. I am hearing what sounds like combat with a goat happening somewhere. Ah, and I'm assuming that's where the rest of the hungry bandits are. Yes, they are just attacking a goat currently. Uh, the goat should have a good chance to do some pretty serious damage to them. And it has already done that. Now, Oren could stick around. Let's see. They, they don't really have any injuries yet. And with an attack of five, they still have a good chance to kind of beat up Oren here. Oren doesn't have any food, though. So, really, sometimes you just need to stand your ground take that fight and just see how it goes <laughs> and really not too good starting off now there is a high chance that Oren will go down here a lot of wounds going in and around the chest on the stomach Oren's toughness won't be too high yet either this is a chance for it to get higher though good blocking across the board so far Oren and we are doing some damage here just not quite enough in the right places so we'll see how Oren stacks up after all of this. Slightly injured, but doing some decent damage. You never know. That, that that's a that's a really decent hit. When they go down from that, that's because of uh, their toughness being quite low. So it's not quite a knockout, but it's enough to make them really reel back. Not bad, Oren. Keep it up. Okay, we are starting to get a little lower, which is not great. As soon as the head or the chest drops down, yeah, so one more shot on the chest and Oren will be out. Come on, Oren, take one of them down at least. We've got to be close. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, the stomach is low, the head's quite low. This one is probably going to stay up. Ooh, there's that hit. Yeah. Yeah. When you get staggered like that, it can get really quite dangerous. The chest and the stomach is low. Still going. Keep it up, Oren. You're doing a fantastic job. Good blocking across the board. Wow. Oren, you beast. Oh, yes. That's one down. And Oren goes down. In a recovery coma at this stage, which is a, a long-term one. So what we're going to do is we are going to get um, one of us out here to rescue and it's probably going to be sand. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to provide first aid. And then we're going to go ahead and rescue Oren. Bring her back to our camp bed. So that she's going to be safe. Uh, meanwhile, Ziff is practicing his melee attack. And he's already got it up to six. Which is great. Get him with the staff. And that's, you know, already looking better. This is how we can kind of improve ourselves early on. We also have to be careful that we don't overarm ourselves. Um you know, with armor and other bits and pieces. The trader's levers is great because it doesn't uh, affect us at all in that regard. Here comes Sand. He's got you, don't worry. Um, now, I'm assuming that they did beat the goat. Uh, 
No, <laughs> I don't think they did. I don't think they did. Okay, yeah, so it's going to take a little bit for us to to heal Oren up here. But don't worry, Oren, that was a well-fought battle. And um, this is really going to help improve her toughness. Sometimes those defeats are necessary. Um, all right, we're going to make sure that we actually do grab Oren. Oh, right, whoops, sand. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... I don't think we can split the injuries. No, we're just going to go ahead and pick... Pick Oren up. Okay. You're going back to operate machinery. Well, we are going to drop Oren off along the way. So let's head back towards our little home in Swin, which um, hmm, isn't actually displaying much power. That could be potentially troublesome. It looks like everyone has stopped working at the stage. So Park, sorry, Sand being the only person who could actually do some work, um, got called away, and that's fine. We're going to go ahead, put Oren in bed. Let's check on Park. We are going to have to go make some purchases. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and take some of the armor with us, though. So Park, grab two of those. Let's have a look at the weapons. Uh, we could sell the combat cleaver, but I kind of want to keep it around just for a little bit longer. We will have a look at this and see how we're how we're doing there. Oh yeah, can we take all of it? We can. Fantastic. Let's go run over. We need to get one more research book. And um, yeah. I think we should actually look at buying some food as well, quite possibly. All right, and Sand is going to go back to work. Park, go have a chat. See, they they quite like us here now. Show our goods, okay. And sure enough, we don't have access to stuff yet, but that's fine. We'll just go ahead and make some money for now. We are fine with that. Making cats for days. Well. Not quite for days, but we're getting there. We're getting there, slowly but surely. And we are going to go ahead and pick up that research book as well. Okay, that's us, bud. Go ahead and ditch those resources. Uh, the resources that you're ditching, I'm not quite sure what you are ditching. So I'll be intrigued to see if you are able to do... Oh, you were trying to go there to ditch those. I see how it is. Um, you should be able to research, reach that from there, right? There we go. Excellent. Just chill here for a moment, you two. We're going to go show research and simple clothing types. So that's got Hobbs back into business. Working on his bits and pieces there. Ruka just looks like a badass with that blade. It is very cool. She just likes to constantly keep it out as well. I guess that's bodyguarding for you. And Oren, Oren is recovering after a good, a good battle. I'm impressed. Ziff, how are we doing here? Attack is seven. Okay, yep, melee attack is 7. So it's, it does start slowing down once you start getting towards that kind of cap of the training. So if we can get him to at least 9, then I'll be okay with us um, moving on. And we will get Oren some experience. We're looking at 11 attack here at this stage. Definitely an improvement. I like it a lot. Just need those iron plates, please. That'd be fantastic. Be really, really happy. Um... I'm, I'm tempted to, I don't know who we're going to use here, if it's going to be Ruka or if it's going to be Park to do some work here. I haven't settled on that just yet. No. Uh, we could also potentially try and produce some food. If we could get rice weed and water, we could make ourselves some rice bowls. Could be worth it. Also, cooked vegetables is just green fruit and water. Um, the rice bowl does give us more nutrients. No, it doesn't give it as, as, as much nutrition. That's 8 green fruit, and that's 10 rice weed. Let's just go have a quick look and see what the kind of pricing is on that. Park, you've got some free time at this stage, so let's have a look at um, grabbing some of that. Water we can also pick up from the bar, no issues. Okay, so do we have access to rice wheat here, I guess is the next thing. Or green fruit. It doesn't look like we do. We have hemp, we have uh, cacti, and we have wheat straw. So we don't have access to to kind of cook anything with those at this stage. Um, yeah, rice bowl is just going to be rice wheat and green fruit. Yeah, so they, they are weirder things for us to have out here. So I'm kind of not surprised that we don't see them. We will have a look at the bar just to see. They do sell water here. There we go, there's some water, but really there ain't much else. That's the way it is. That's fine. 
Now we could send Park on another journey to go ahead and try and pick us up some more iron plates. Um, I didn't think iron would be as much of a bottleneck as it is. Um, obviously the other things are keeping us going fine. Just that iron, we go through those plates so damn quickly. Um, yeah. Having a refinery here still really isn't a efficient move for us. Uh, I, th I think doing the purchases here and an ad mag are going to work out for us. Um, just It is just going to require that little bit of patience. So I think we are going to send Ruka and Park out. And that's okay. It really doesn't take too long for them to make it there. It is a good few hours of running. But um, I'm confident that they're going to be able to make it together. And it's a good chance for Ruka to improve her athletics and Park to get even better as well. Look at that. Simple clothing types. Complete. Well, okay. Let's have a look and see what we're going to be able to create here. Uh, we are just going to let it go on regular speed, just so time is moving. Um, as you can see, we can make pretty much everything. Um, now, we could look for things that give us a little bit more cats, so and we could turn this into another kind of money-making venture. Um, but I'm not so sure. I mean, like, we're going to get 75 from doing that. It's a good shirt for sneaking and doing spy stuff. Turtleneck. There you go. Uh, black cloth shirt is... I think it can actually give us some stealth eventually, but, um, yeah. Having some nice shirts, I think, will be good. We've got the cloth shirt, which is what we can wear underneath everything else. A bit better than the white vest, I believe. Some wooden sandals. I guess we could go ahead and make a whole heap of them for us, because that's combat speed, effectiveness, and athletics. Not too bad, really. And I think that is the only footwear that we have at this stage, right? Yeah, and it requires fabric. Okay, well, we could go ahead and just put in, uh, let's see, we could put in six of those for now. Yeah, now we can get better at making them as well, so I'm not sure which we'd want to do at this stage. And I'm also in two minds as to whether or not I'd want to get Hobbs to just help out with that for a little bit. And we could do. Hmm, he is here. Ziff, your training's going good. You're on eight attack now. Brilliant, buddy. Just keep it up. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh, look, Oren is already back up and operating machinery, which um, with this kind of recovery probably isn't the best thing in the world. But I admire the dedication. Um, we are going to do a swap out, though. We will let Oren come back and have a proper, proper rest once Ziff has completed his training. But, yeah, that's some dedication for you there. Uh, I would like to have a research, though. I would rather have a look and just see if there is anything else under that crafting that we could do for... It doesn't look like it. Hats and headgear. Wouldn't mind making some of them. Because, obviously, as you can see, many of us don't have them. Uh, and for that, it is just going to be some more books. Which, um, we could totally do. Yeah, two books. Alright, Hobbs, you're not doing anything right now. Go and have a run over here. And see what they've got. It is past midday, so there's a chance that we might be looking at some more supplies. Show me your goods, please. Uh, just one. Um, yeah, still nothing at this stage. Darn. Alright. Uh, I actually completely forgot how many books it was going to be. Completely forgot off the top of my head. I think we can actually just check it here. Uh, just two books. One, two. Great. Fantastic. All right, Hobbs, run on back. And we'll get started on this research. I can hear sirens. Something is going on. Just back here, please. There we go. You almost teleported there with speed. All right. Show research. Um... Well, show research, and we'll, we'll research hats and headgear. Another thing for us to produce on that bench. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm happy with Sand taking a break and working on that. He is still doing shoddy. Occasionally we will have some good ones, I'm sure of it. Uh, so yeah, Sand, let's get you to have a break. We're going to get you to work the clothing bench instead, just for a little while. So on to work you go. Uh, I don't know where he's going to put these. He might just keep them in his inventory, which that's completely fine. Wooden sandals across the board. 
Uh, so obviously the, the cat resistance and the blood resistance isn't going to be as good, but um, they will speed us up and they'll make us faster in combat, so that's a good thing. I think until we have better skills, we should avoid wearing armor that is too heavy. Um, oh yeah, that's right, dog meat, we will sort you out now. Hobbs, can you just pop out here? And we're going to grab some meat for dog meat. Some meat for dog meat. Go ahead and just grab, uh, I was going to say three pieces for now. But you know, that's all good. And we'll just go ahead and drop them outside. Oh, there we go. Eight dried meat. Um, we'll just go drop one and two just outside as well. I think those will be easily accessible. Yes. Dog meat can get those fine. Malnourished, that will start going back up. You're right, buddy. Yep, that's definitely accessible. Alright, Sand. Check in with you. See how you're doing. It will work. We will get our wooden sandals before long. And they probably are just going to be the prototype grade. That's fine. Um, I don't know if he does produce better ones. If he has to produce a lot of them to be able to start producing higher grades of them. Or if it's just um, based upon his skill. Because it could just be based upon his skill. 36. It's entirely possible. Ziff, how are we doing? We're on 8, we're nearly on 9, 71%, we can see it goes so much slower now, so as soon as we hit that 9, we are going to get him to swap out, we're going to get Orin to come back here, have a rest, and then do some training herself. Um, oh, we should have checked on these two a long time ago. Actually, you know what, look at that timing though, perfect, absolutely perfect. Uh, Ruka is a little bit further behind, but that's fine. I'm sure she's going to have her chance to fight again. She certainly seems to enjoy it. Okay, Park. Let's go ahead, move on into the marketplace and hope, hope that they've got some new bloody supplies for us. Let's have a chat. Welcome new customer. We've actually been here before and sure enough, they do have supplies for us. Fantastic. So we'll take that. We'll take the fabric as well. Do I want to take the leather? I mean, we're here. Why not? And that's going to be the lot. Yeah. Same materials here, I'm not surprised. We've got some straw flour. If we do research other types of food, we would be able to turn these into various types. But this st it's still pretty expensive, really. Uh, we could turn wheat straw into flour, but it's a, again, it's a bit of a process. Uh, armor plating, we don't have to worry about any of that yet. We've still got more than enough books back at home. And so, Park and Ruka, you are going to begin that jog on back. So we might as well just click back on home. And we will get the two of them to go plonk themselves down there. Getting close to that first completion there, Sand. Very good. Very good. So we'll have something of a uniform. But um, I think once we have a, a few more people within our ranks, we will vary it to kind of, um, you know, symbolize what the squads are, what they do, and all the rest. Research complete hats and headgear. Fantastic. So that is something that we're going to have access to underneath of here. Basket hat. Fantastic. It does actually, yep, yeah, hides the face and makes you look creepy. Indeed it does. Uh, the tackle must, I, I'm not 100% sure how I pronounce that, but tackle must does protect you a lot from dust storms. So pretty damn decent. Bandanas, similar kind of thing. You know, actually, surprisingly, the bandana is worth an okay amount. We're getting 175 potentially from them. So this is another way for us to make a little bit more. The turbans are quite good. We're looking at pretty good protection from the dust storms. The cap doesn't really seem to do much. Faded by traders. Good for desert nights. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, Ruka is under attack. Okay, well, we will investigate that. Um, where do we want to go here, though? We're looking at a material or rather fabric cost of 0 0.18. That's a very, very small material cost. Um, getting good at making these could be quite good. Bandana, material cost, fabric cost. Estimated crafting time is 0 hours. That takes an hour, where the bandana doesn't take as long. And it sells for about the same amount. Bandana isn't going to have the kind of prediction that um, the tackle must does. Hmm. Getting that desert storm protection could be quite nice. It's a tough decision, you know. It's a tough decision. No, we're going to be able to produce more bandanas. So I think that is going to be better for us in the long run. Um, the material cost is better. Fabric cost is better. 
and really we're still gonna make some money from it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and make six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna have a look at creating them on a pretty regular basis. I haven't looked at like leggings yet. Something that we'll get to in time. But for now, Ruka, let's see, what do we have going on with you? Oh no, that is a skin spider. Thankfully, Ruka doesn't have anything that she's holding on to currently. Uh, Park is also in danger here. And it looks like we have, yeah, we have more than one skin spider coming for us. So this could get really, really quite dangerous. How far away are we? Yeah, we're nowhere near Admag. We're right between the two. Um... So this is, this is potentially a very dangerous scenario for us. Thankfully, they aren't too fast right now. Ruka is really outpacing them. Park obviously is a little bit slower, but we are outpacing them, which I am very, very grateful that we are. Um, yeah, we've got, we've got it within sight, so we should be able to make it. And I'm very, very grateful for that. You, surprisingly though, I, I would have thought you would have been a lot faster, but we might just be lucky now that, uh, they are not able to keep up with us, because usually they most certainly are. They've got an athletics of 38, which is pretty damn decent. Looking at Park, he has an athletics of 56. So, yeah, it is being reduced by his the load that he's kind of carrying right now, but he is still going to be generally faster, it looks like. Rook is just getting the hell out of there at this stage, and I don't blame her. Okay, we are safe. Thankfully, we are safe. And that's the thing is, if you are sending on people, if you're sending people out on runs, you really want to make sure that they do have decent athletics. And athletics of 16 isn't decent, but she had enough of a head start to get away from them. So, for whatever reason, they might have been a little bit more cautious. I have no idea why, but I won't complain. All right, Sand, you seem to be doing fine. You've made yourself some sandals. Um, I, where did you drop them off? Oh, yeah, you've made quite a few quite a few oh yeah so um with wooden sandals there is no variation in grade so it's just it is what it is um and we're gonna go give one to everyone so hobbs you can get some too i think you might actually already have some and ziff you're upstairs so you can get some too there you go you actually have some now which is great we're gonna go swap those boots out we should probably get the stuff dropped off into the armor storage just so that we have it in there arrange that stuff Okay, and Sand, we're going to go ahead and get those. <laughs> He's so good, dropping them off. What a good guy. But yeah, no, I actually want you to wear those, buddy. There you go. A little bit better, huh? I'm sure he'll drop those off in time as well. Look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, Park is under attack now. What is it now, Park? Oh, it's the skin spider. It's still chasing us. Um, who are you? Oh, Rismonia of the Tech Hunters. Okay, Resmonia. Well, it looks like the others are going to come out. They are going to assist us in this endeavor. So, we won't say no to a fight. Let's go turn ourselves around and start attacking those skin spiders. Park, let's see. Can we actually you to drop that backpack in this instance? Yes, we can. We can do kind of what we did before. We can get Park to quickly chuck maybe a little pack over towards Ruka. As you do. As you do, I say. Okay. Um, put it down there. There we go. All right, so Park, it is going to be the same story for you. Attack all. Let's see how this turns out. I imagine probably not very good for the skin spiders, seeing as all of them are already here, and they just absolutely annihilated them. I don't even think we're going to get an attack in here. No, nope, and sure enough, we do not. Uh, but having a look at them, I think we can still get some goods out of them. So let's quickly go ahead... See if we can open them up. At the very least, this will stop them from coming back. Um, it looks like they don't have any meat on them. Because um, it should just be the, the rough kind of meat. But that's fine. Park, head back. It looks like he's going to go get food. Ruka is probably doing the same thing. Which is great, because it means that the it's it's working. Our food barrel is working. And dog meat is eating the dried meat that we've just left outside for her. So, yay. That's great. We can see her dexterity has actually gone up as well. From armor and equipment. Interesting. I don't remember equipping you with anything. Um, all right, Ruka is chilling out again. Park is straight back into work. Uh, we will get him to drop off the rest of these iron plates and drop off the rest of these bits and pieces. The fabric coming over here, dropping off those. And seeing as you're up and about, Park, let's let's get you to come back over here and do a little bit of extra selling for us if you can. Seeing as you're such good friends with these traders, yeah, good to see you again too. 
Show us your goods. And you got some plates for us. Very happy about that. We'll take your leather. We'll take your fabric. And yeah, that is us nearly tapped out at this stage. But uh, we are going to be making this money back, I promise you. It is always an investment, but it's going to work out for us in the long run. Heading back on over park. And just straight back on into it. But we will get you dropping all of these off into their respective spots. That's a lot of leather now. A lot of leather and fabric. We're looking really good as well. Looking good across the board. Ziff, how are you doing, bud? You should be nearly at there. Okay, yep, you got a melee attack of nine, so we are going to retire you from that for now. And Oren, we are going to get you to come back. Um, it looks like you might not even need to have that rest, so we'll just get you to come back here and train train up your skills. Ziff's had something to eat. It looks like he's going to go back and start operating that machinery. We've only got five copper in here, so yeah, not as much has been going on while they've been away. And Hobbs, it looks like he is tapped out in terms of his research right now. Um, it would be nice for him to have a secondary skill getting him maybe to pick up the clothing work that Sand is doing currently. It's entirely possible. Alright Sand, let's go ahead and take you off the clothing bench for now. And while we're here, let's have a look and see exactly what else has been created. Have we had any more shoes? No, we haven't at this stage. That's fine, Hobbs is getting involved with that. Let's see how you're doing. Armor smithing of three, so it's going to take him a lot longer to be able to create these, but that's fine. We've nearly got that set done, and just like that, we have another. So who are we going to give that to? Well, Park does a lot of running, so I feel like it's going to be good to give it to Park. To Park, yes. We're going to give it to Park. There you go, buddy. And we'll just go ahead and transfer those back into here. Eventually, we will get him wearing those, but for now... We're all going to be rocking around in our wooden sandals. Those tackle musts are going to be good, and I believe... Oh, no, sorry, the bandanas. The bandanas we can actually get to be a higher standard. They are standard grade. I don't know if we can get them to be specialist. It just seems to be they're saying that's the standard, but um, I don't know. We'll find out one way or the other, won't we? Um, so far, these have been working out okay for us. Our athletics do go down a little bit with them which I'm not super happy about. The martial arts bonus doesn't really help us out that much as well, so I'd be more in favor of us selling those. So having a look at these, is there anything else kind of leg-wise that we could wear that could actually help us out, that could actually give us some kind of bonus? Gi pants does give us a martial arts bonus, but nothing else. The rag loincloth is yeah, not going to help us either. No, so I think really cargo pants are the only thing, and um, they're not going to do too much for us right now. It's actually going to be under leather crafting where I'm relatively sure that we're going to be able to get some kind of better materials. Um, yeah, look at this. The trader's leathers at the moment, the standard grade, if we are able to produce them, and I think we are with sand, we're going to be getting 745 for each of those. So... It's pretty good. The estimated crafting time, as you can see, is eight hours. So it's a, it's a, it's a decent investment in terms of time. But um, what you're getting back, you're getting a lot more. So that takes one fabric, one leather. The trader's leather also takes the same amount. It just takes more time. But um, it can really make a massive, massive difference as time goes on. I do want to get more crafting options under here though so it is something that we're going to have to have a look into tech wise I just don't think it's something that we can do yet let's see yeah no it must, it must be something that'll come later the tough thing is that once we start to get into the higher tech levels we require different types of materials when it comes to researching so you won't just require books you'll also require like an ancient skill book of some kind it'll be something that you will find in runes across the world so you have to do quite a bit of searching to find those uh, bits and pieces yeah I actually quite like the pants that uh, Ruka is rocking at the moment. Those are the ones that we're going to want to go for, these drifters, drifters leather pants. It's not something that we can create ourselves, but it's something that I would really want to create. Uh, and I forgot that you were holding on to some things for us, Ruka. Let's get you to just go stand over here for now. Uh, is that the fabric one? No, that's it there. Thank you very much. And let's check on Oren and see how she's doing. Doing good. The training is going well. 
Um, oh, already has a melee attack of 11. Okay, well, Oren, um, we're just going to get you resting up for now. And I would really like it if you uh, stay resting up for now. <laughs> I don't know how long I can keep her there for. She seems to want to get back to work pretty much right away, but um, we'll keep her there as long as we can. We'll actually just take her off jobs just for a little bit, because I would prefer if she gets back to full health. Um, I would also prefer if we had some more weapon variation. And by variation, I mean all of us having the same thing. <laughs> Uh, which is, yeah, the staffs. Now we can see that we're using a refitted blade there now, so not only is it worth more, but um, it's giving us a better attack bonus as well. Actually, that one's the same, but that's fine. It's a little bit more damage, which is kind of what we're after. So having a look at this here, uh, Park, it looks like he has given his away, which we don't want that to happen. So let's have a look at the weapons here. We're going to go ahead and give you that one, buddy. Send, you already have your plus eight. That's nice. Ruka, we could probably, you know, I I know that you'd love your blade, but I think just for the time being, it's going to be better if we leave that blade in here. Let me give you one of these ones instead. There we go. Um, so obviously using these inside, not a great idea, but most of our fights seem to happen outside, so better for us in the long run, I'd say. We're just going to go ahead and swap that around as well. Oh, here comes the really loud music. <laughs> yep. Can't stop it. Uh, can we get you to swap that? We can. Great. That works out for us. Now, that was at a loss. We weren't gaining anything from the resources that we've spent on this. Just chill here, Ruka. Um... But we will, we will gain back in time. It's the same thing if we were to take our armor instead of selling it, um, wearing it. Every time. Every time with that one track, it's just so much louder than all the rest. <laughs> Apologize to your ears if that doesn't balance out okay, but it should balance out okay once we get into post. Hobbs is running over to get some more fabric. It's not too far for him to run, so that's good. Rook is just chilling out for now. We will have to find something else for Ruka to do in time. We could actually get her involved with the mining squads because, I mean, it's always it's always necessary. And then she'd actually be outside and, you know, in those potential combat scenarios. So I think she'd be happy with that. Uh, we do have another set of shoes, which, you know what? I think we could probably end up giving these to Ruka. So Ruka, let's go into armor storage. I'm gonna get you to chuck these on. We'll swap out your ones. Yeah, we need to sell these tomorrow. We're gonna to get 200 each for them. As soon as we get to standard, once we start getting that 700 cats coming in, we'll be looking very, very good. So Ruka, we are going to take you off that for now. And let's see, where can we get you involved? Ziff, I think you are maxed out there, but I think maybe on Orin's one, which was over the other side, I believe. Look at that attack now, that's great. Super happy with that. What in the hell happened here? That is a lot of blood. Uh, Ruka, how about we just go have a little bit of a stroll out here and just see what's going on. They looked like um, hungry bandits that uh, really didn't do too well in whatever fight they were doing. Um, the hungry bandits are kind of what we want to be fighting early on to improve your skill. But generally, we don't go looking for fights, do we? We're not a menace. I'm liking the attack bonus now. It's a lot better. Um, let's go ahead and take these weapons. They really are not going to have any use for them anymore. So we're just going to go through all the remains here. Collecting what we can. All these iron clubs. Um, oh, we've even got some severed human legs. Uh, now, obviously... Those are no good for us, but uh, I guess we'll be stealing those then. Um, th we can actually feed dog meat with those. Um, I don't know if we're allowed to bring them in or not. I can't pick that up. Oh, right, because you're probably maxed out in terms of space. That, that's fine. Uh, we'll get her to run back with what she's got now and just sell it in the at the bar. I don't think we'll be selling human legs. Looks like there was, there's been the breakout attempt. Yeah. Um, now, usually what people do in Squint 
is you've got all these great like armor smiths and weapon smiths. People do a lot of stealing and then selling on in other areas. That's not our jam. The Sheik have been really, really good to us. And the majority of our group are Sheik as well. I don't think they're going to want to, uh, well, a group that's already very, very hard done by, I don't think they're going to want to try and screw them over anymore. Um, I'm very tempted to buy some of this meat just so that we actually have it. Because we are starting to get a little bit lower. She's going to go ditch those resources and then we're going to have a look and see if we can get her involved with some mining out in the wide world. Ziff and Dogmeat, looks like they're having a good time. Ruka heading on back out here. I believe it was just out this way that we had. Yeah, it was just over here. Um, now, what is that one going to be? It is It is using two. Okay, so we could get both Ruka and Oren working this copper node. I think that'll work out for us in the long run. It's a bit of hard labor, but it's going to keep Ruka fit. And it's going to keep her out here when she can actually get into some fights. Her laboring is zero currently, and we can also see that um, it's dark out here as well, so she's not going to be working at top efficiency. Only 40%, which is not awesome. What we can do, though, and something that we probably should have done a little sooner, is have a look at making some lighting out here. Um, it doesn't take much. It just takes one thing of building materials to be able to do it. So we'll go ahead and confirm that. Go on over towards where Ziff is. And this seems to be the place that he comes to most of the time, this side. So we'll do the same thing here. Looking at lighting, torch post. Um, ooh, yep, too close to another town. So unfortunately we can't put that in there for you, buddy. No can do. Uh, what about a campfire, though? Yeah, same deal. Same deal. That's all right then, isn't it? It'll just have to be all right. Um, yeah. Tis what it is. Um, we do have build materials, though. We still have six. I didn't realize we actually had those out here. Um, <clears throat> so we could get Ruka to go pick those up and maybe do a little bit of engineering when she gets back there. So, yeah, we'll get her to do a little bit of a run for us. Work up that athletic skill. Uh, and I think I will still get her to join Park on those journeys just because, um, well, she enjoys fighting and it's going to give her a chance to get those fights in so come over here if you can get you to grab just the one for now because I believe it is just one and let's see what you do are you running back out there operating machinery that's okay Oren how are you doing you're looking fine you can get up and get involved okay off you are and then once she gets there, she starts operating that machinery, we will get her to work on this while she's here. And just like that, we have ourselves a torch. So she's going to be able to work throughout the night. And um, same thing, Oren will be able to as well. And Oren will be joining her momentarily, I'm sure. No, it's currently aimless. Oh, right, because I've taken you off jobs. Let's get you back on. Let's just see who we've got here. I think these are nomads. Yep, indeed they are. And the nomads, we can get some more potential... Well, this is the thing. Eventually, we would like to get a pack beast, but um, it is not a priority for us right now. Uh, it's something that we'll look into eventually. So, those two seem to be perfectly fine, working nice and close to each other. It means that they're going to be maxing their out a lot faster. It means we're going to have a lot more copper coming in. And copper means cats. It's a good translation for us here. Um, it looks like Park has stopped, and Park has actually been making some really good stuff. We can see that he is actually upgraded now to Catan number one as the model. We can see that the value of these has gone up a fair amount, um, and the damage has gone up a little bit as well. So, Park, I'm very happy with that. I'm impressed with you, good sir. We are going to go ahead and sell some of these things. Um, I think we're going to keep the heavier weapons just for now. We're going to go take all the staffs, and we are going to sell those off. Um, in terms of armor... I think we have some in here that we can sell. And yeah, we've actually got all the bandanas as well. These are just prototype grade though, so as you can see, they're pretty much trash. Uh, it's gonna take a long time before Hobbs, I think, is good enough to do that. Did we did we use all of our fabric? No, we got heaps of fabric. We're fine. So I think the reason Hobbs stopped that there was because he doesn't actually have anything else to do. We can get him making more bandanas, get him good at doing this. So we're gonna go ahead and repeat that cute. It doesn't take them that long to be able to create them. So I'd love it if he gets good at it. It's just gonna take him a little while to get good. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a much higher need for bandanas now. 
uh, rather fabric. What's wrong with me? Uh, right, traders levers. Look at that. We've got our first standard grade traders levers. Now, obviously, this would be good to give to our people, but we're going to be able to get specialist grade eventually. So we're just going to go ahead and keep on working through with those. We are going to sell off all these other bits and pieces. Uh, can we fit one more in? We can. Uh, we can also do this and take that there. Excellent work, Park. Go ahead, see what they have to trade. And I don't think we're going to be able to trade for much at this stage, but let's do business. Let's do that business. You don't have anything else for us, that's fine. We are just going to make some cats from you then. And you can see at this stage, they've still got, you know, they've got a lot of, they've got a lot of cats. Eventually, we will be selling them out every single day. That's how much we'll be able to produce. Believe me, it will happen. It will happen. It might not happen tomorrow, but it will happen. Um, yeah, we're not going to need anything else from them at this stage. Obviously, just more iron plates. We need as many as we can possibly get. Um, are we going to bring Ruka along? We are going to have to do another run. I think having the extra backup is good for Park. So we're going to go here, get Ruka. We're going to get you on bodyguard. My fridge will not shut up. It's just making constant noises. And so it looks like she's going to come on back now. As soon as she reaches this building, we are going to send the two of them running out there. Back to Admag to pick up some more resources for us. There might be another place that we can go to along the way. Or obviously another thing that we could potentially do and this is probably going to be smarter for us to do is swap backpacks with hops here so if we go ahead take that splint out for now take these other little bits and pieces those little bounties that we've been holding on to we go ahead and swap that out hobbs let's trade buddy okay backpacks swapped so what that is going to enable um, Park to do is just carry a lot more stuff. Uh, we should really get a backpack for Ruka too. So before we leave this place, let's just go on over to here. And we're probably going to get her a stackable backpack as well. Which is good because they're actually the cheapest ones for us to buy. Still 400, so it's not great, but you know, it's better than nothing. Um, so let's go ahead, slap that on Ruka, and she is good to go as well. So Park and Ruka... We're going to get you running on out, all the way back on over towards Atmac. Yeah, actually there's a high village up there as well. I don't know if we've visited that yet. Potentially worth us doing just that. And so, they're heading back on out there into the world. Park and Ruka running out to get us some more iron plates. And that has been us for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me once again. I feel like we've made it a lot further in today's episode. Our production is always on the move. We're always kind of growing, getting more done in each episode. And I'm very happy with how the combat has turned out in this as well. I feel like if we keep at it, if we keep on going, we could be getting stronger before we know it. But that, guys and gals, will all be in the future. Thank you for joining me. I've been Rikon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.